Today we're upgrading the suspension on our 2022 Ram 1500 Classic with the Timbren Rear Suspension Enhancement Kit. This is going to replace your factory down stop and it's gonna be a little bit bigger. So as you can see, we have a little bit of a gap. We don't have anything in the bed. So it's gonna activate a lot sooner. And these are gonna work independently from each other, one on one side, one on the other. So for some of those off center loads, it's gonna be able to snap back to center pretty quickly. Really, really improving the drive quality. The capacity of these are gonna be about 6,000 pounds. And it's just high density rubber, which is gonna compress a little bit but definitely help your suspension snap back to center. This is also gonna help with body roll whenever you're turning so it doesn't feel like you're gonna flip. And it's also just going to prolong the longevity of your other suspension components so your spring isn't gonna be working as hard. One thing I like about the suspension enhancement when it's just the jound stop, it's not gonna be activated right now with nothing in the truck. We still had a little bit of a gap so you're not going to make your ride quality worse without hauling stuff. So another thing that people come to all the time at e-trailer is airbags. So comparing them to the airbags, if you have airbags on, one, it's going to be a lot longer of an install. There's a lot more maintenance involved. And also you're going to have a worse ride quality when you're not hauling. I think that airbags are mainly for the heavier loads when you're doing it a lot. There's a lot more involved with airbags, but there's a lot more you can do so you can truly level out your truck with the load on there if you have airbags. I think that's pretty cool. But with these, you don't really have any adjustments. You put them in there and if the axle hits it, it's gonna help. And if it doesn't, it's not. We're gonna show you how to install the aftermarket jounce bumpers. But first, like any good experiment, we need a control. So let's see exactly what our stock ride height's gonna be. We're gonna start in the back. We're gonna measure from the ground up to the wheel well right here. And that is 40 inches with nothing loaded with our factory suspension. And then going up front, I'm gonna do the same exact measurement. Down to the ground, up to the wheel well. I'd say it's about 37 inches. My buddy Dave is loading up the water tank. This is what we like to use to simulate the amount of load that you're gonna have. We have a decent amount of water in it. It is about a thousand pounds. So watch that level of the bed when he drops that down. Oh yeah. And this is really loading up this truck. We saw about three inches of sag happening with the stock down stops. So about 37 inches in the back, but in the front, it's still at 37 inches. So we're not really squatting like that, but just in the back. So now what we're gonna do so we're gonna take it on our test course just to see how the factory setup really works in a real life situation. Well, that was fun. I felt when we were going on our test course, the suspension is definitely traveling, but it's never really stopping. It was a lot of up and down and up and down. I didn't really feel the factory bounce stops doing anything. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go in the shop, upgrade, and then do it all again. Before you do anything, chalk the front wheels, because once we jack up the back, it's gonna wanna roll. So chalk up the front wheels, and then I like to jack up the back from the hitch, but you wanna take some safety measures. So. I'm jacking it up from the hitch, and then I'm gonna have some jack stands here to bring all the way up to the top just in case the jack fails. So you always wanna have the proper safety measures in place. So that's what we're gonna do. The idea here is that we're gonna get this suspension to completely sag. That's why I'm not jacking it up from the axle, because we need that axle to be as low as possible, but we do wanna get it to right where these tires are lifted off the ground, just so we know for sure that the suspension is at full travel. It's just gonna give us a lot more room to put the new stuff in. So all you need to do with this is you just need to manhandle this thing out and just pops out just like this. Get some soapy water or something. Uh, it's definitely gonna help it kind of go in there. So we put it down on here, but then also just 
in this piece here because there's just a lot of grit and stuff, especially if you're on gravel roads. So kind of just want to go in there and manhandle it back in. And I like to kind of rotate it a little bit, make sure it's completely seated. And it seems like it's pretty much good. It's a very, very simple install. No tools needed. You just need your hands. To ensure that they're seated properly in the cup, what you want to do is take a little block of wood or something like we have, put it underneath there, and you can slowly lower this down just to make sure that they're seated in there. You don't have to lower it completely, but I mean, that's a lot of weight that is on those. So they're definitely in if they weren't in there before. All right, now that we jacked it back up, you can grab the box of wood and we're done with that. Lower down, nice and slow, nice and slow. And then we can take our chalks out and I'll see you on the test course. Same amount of weight, different components underneath for the suspension. We are doing a lot better. It's about 38 and a half inches, which before it was 37. So about an inch and a half improvement there. And I noticed that the upgrade that we put on there, it's already hitting the axle. So it's going to be a lot more stiff and that's good. That's what we're looking for. And in the front, 37 like before. I've done this setup on a lot of different trucks and it always improves the ride quality. So now, instead of sagging down a lot, about three inches, we're halfway there. So our stock springs aren't gonna be doing as much and that's pretty much where it's gonna stop because when we hit some of those bumps, it exceeded that three inches. But now since the down stops are on the axle, the inch and a half is pretty much as much as it's going to travel. It's gonna protect the other suspension components and make them last a little longer. So now we're gonna go on the test course. You'll see it in the GoPro footage, but I felt a lot more response to my suspension. One, instead of going all the way down, coming back up and then leveling out, it goes down and then it just comes right back up. Really didn't feel a whole lot of difference from just riding with nothing in the bed. So that's what I was looking for, something a little bit more snappy when I'm turning and also just going over those bumps. 10 minutes and you increase the ride quality whenever you're hauling with your Ram truck. And again, this was a 2022 Ram 1500 Classic and we just installed the Timbrin Suspension Enhancement Kit.